We're building on a foundation of 70 years of scientific research into fusion energy. It's not 30 years away. Fusion is today. They say fusion technology is still 30 years away from becoming mainstream. Is it? And if not, what's different now? This is a, a real common misconception about fusion energy. It's not 30 years away. Fusion is today. Our advancements in plasma physics knowledge, advanced simulation codes, and actually experimental confirmation of fusion theory are furthering the depth of knowledge that we have around fusion science. And the other magic ingredient that comes is to help us progress what we're doing is investment. So from the, the turn of the century until 2018, it took 18 years to get to the point where a billion dollars had been privately invested into private fusion ventures. And from 2018 until today, we've actually seen almost another billion dollars come into these companies to help advance. Um, our technology. Recently, General Fusion announced plans to construct a new facility in the UK. What does this project mean for General Fusion and for the future of the industry? It's going to confirm the performance of our magnetized target fusion technology at a power plant relative scale. And it also will help us refine the economics of our upcoming commercial power plant through the operations of this particular machine. Both the advances in science and insights into economics help us provide a better solution as we go forward. Why did General Fusion decide to build in the UK? The United Kingdom Atomic Energy Authority, that campus at Cullum, it's a world-class fusion research facility. And on top of that, it's one of the few places on the planet that actually has a fusion supply chain, not to mention the, the intellectual capital that's there. And so this kind of strategic combination uh, of government and, and private industry, uh, it's, it's an accelerator in, in taking technologies to market.